Hello, I'm Tasha and welcome to QB Conservation, your lockdown lowdown on new ecology research. In this series, we challenged biologists at Queen's to tell us about exciting new research in just a few minutes. Welcome to today's episode, where we will be speaking to Monica about her research on lionfish. Uh, my name is Monica McCard and I'm a PhD at Queen's. My passion is invasive species. In a nutshell, how would you describe an invasive species? An invasive species is uh, an organism that causes ecological or economic harm to an environment where it's not native to. So the likes of the lionfish, they are native to the South Pacific, Indian Ocean and the Red Sea. And so um, with uh, lionfish, what is the, like, the key issue then? They're quite cryptic in how they look. So to prey, the prey um, can be quite naive and they have an undetected scent in the water, which is unusual for a predator. In their actual native range, the, the known predator would be the eels, large eels, groupers, uh, frogfish, even scorpionfish. So there is no known predator in the invaded range. So that's the big problem part um, of research that I've just, that I've completed um, is looking at prey switching to see if lionfish are actually predating on one species of prey. Are they just take whatever is available and that's it? Did the prey switching basically showed that actually they're not driving local species to extinction. They're being very picky about what they consume. Um, when you are doing a prey switching experiment, you're given two different types of prey. You give a low abundance of type A and a high abundance of type B. Lionfish are very clever. They knew that when there was a low abundance of type A, to leave it alone and, um, and they consumed the higher abundance. And that's what's so important about prey switching. To do that, that's, that's quite incredible with lionfish because that does show the fact that they are leaving um, some prey species that are very rare. So there may be hope then because of that, um, that they are not just eating and eating and eating until they completely destroy all these native species. That's really fantastic. So there might be hope for biodiversity yet. Yes, 100%.